Welcome family, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Authentically Being Ava, I'm Ava. So family, welcome family, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Authentically Being Ava, I'm Ava. So family, I wanted to talk to you guys today briefly about this holiday season and this season of gift giving. You know, this time of the year, folks, you know, have all types of expectations and assumptions of things with gift giving, you know. It's something that's usually done from the heart. You know, you're feeling like you wanna do something nice. Um, you feel in the, the spirit of giving. And so you do so. But family, it's those expectations that gets me family. You know, I was once there where I was all bogged down with what to get somebody, you know? Like, I don't really do that anymore because I just, you know, I just don't feel the same way about the holidays that I used to. But there's so many other people that are into it and, you know, are out there trying to find what they can get, you know, because it's that time of the year, you know? Um, gift giving should be from the heart, no matter what time of year it is. But let me just talk about this gift giving stuff, family, because sometimes people just take this thing down the street. The whole idea of gift giving is just a gesture of love. Just to say, hey, I was thinking about you, I care about you, I love you, I wanted you to have this, uh, I wanted to bless you, whatever, you know? It's the season of giving, you know, all of that, right? However, you get sometimes these folks who you know, want to make this gift the entire world. You know, like they just, <laughs> family, I just don't know what it, I think, I think it's a, maybe it's a part of an entitlement or, you know, just being so used to getting or receiving a gift that now we are, you know, just picky and angry and upset about these gifts that we receive and, you know, want to be, uh, Want to have stipulations put on the gift so you know this is what i want and that's that and you know i don't want this and i want that and uh, uh, this is too cheap and this was too expensive so yeah family i'm back i had to step away for a second but um around the holidays when i was really celebrating them like that i remember just being very grateful and thankful you know i had uh parents who for the most part asked me you know kind of what i wanted you know and they they first you know would ask what you needed you know that kind of thing um and and as far as um relationships and significant others and stuff like that uh yeah, they, they would ask what you wanted, yeah, and try their best to get you that thing, you know. So that was all cool. The problem comes in when you got some people who want to give you what they want you to have, you know, like that, okay? And honestly, I started out this, this world like that with my mom. She was like that. Started out that way, giving me what she thought, like, it was her choice, like once I became a teenager and started to have my own, you know, flavor and own tastes and everything, you know, I would be, I would express what it was that I wanted. You know, she would let me pick out what I wanted. So that was a good thing. But then as time went on, she kind of switched it up a little bit. And then she started wanting to, you know, give me what she thought. And I was just like, okay, we don't have the same taste, okay? Then I'm looking like Grandma Dynamite in this outfit and uh and you happy and tickled with glee and i'm i'm over here crying in the corner okay <laughs> but people are funny though you you can't you can't not unless you just think they have the worst taste in the world but i'm gonna say this even if you think that get them the gift that they want or something that you think they would like you know let them have the opportunity to look how they want whatever it is you know whatever type of tennis shoes or outfit or you know article of clothing or tea, whatever just get them what they want you know stop trying to infringe your own 
ideas of how they should look on them. You know, let, let's let people be who they are. And so I had to learn a lesson though, the hard way from a particular person. And I'm not, like I said, not naming any names, but I'd gotten her, I thought a nice gift and she didn't like it. And I, I think that's honestly what it was. She didn't like it. And I get that. She tried to say that it was too small when to me it looked like it fit, but whatever. It is what it is. She didn't like it. So I had noticed that about her. She was very, very picky. Actually, just like my mom. My mom was picky too. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna fix this. Who doesn't love money, right? I decided I'm gonna get her some money and that way she can pick out what she wants. And I thought that's a brilliant idea. And most people agree with that. Most people are like, X, absolutely yes, you know, that way they can purchase whatever they want. There's no problem. There's no exchanging of the gift. You can't exchange money, okay? It's, it's what it is, right? Well, let me tell you, she lit into me, right? I mean, like, wow, like, there was no thought given to this gift at all. I mean, you didn't even try. You just handed the money. But, you know, she tried to put it tactfully, but it wasn't tactful. It, it came out just how it just sounded, okay? And I thought, ungrateful, unbelievable, like, wow okay really i just thought wow like i felt like i really should not have even put forth the effort at all and maybe i won't after this you know it's just amazing to me like i don't get that you complain about a gift that was given to you and then when money is given to you to pick out what you want you complain about that too family <laughs> Wow, like it's just amazing. It just makes you kind of want to just pull back and retreat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it does. You know, and it's, you know, everything, it's all in the delivery. You know, it's all in the delivery because, you know, something can sound real harsh when it comes out negative, you know, comes out harsh, comes out mean nasty you know like that can really but if you but if you try to use tact and express yourself I don't know I just think because I'm putting myself in that position and I think it first starts with your closeness to that person if you're close enough to that person in your family or your friendship to where you can say certain things, then okay. But if you're not that close, I would just be like, thank you so much. And like re-gift it, you know what I mean? Just give it to someone else who um, would maybe appreciate it. You know, that's what most people do. But, ooh, family. People sometimes can be brutal. I mean, be mad and upset uh, at a gift. And I'm just like, this is crazy absolutely insane <laughs> but yeah um yeah I remember these earrings I never I never will understand this I remember I had gotten um these 14 karat gold chandelier earrings and they weren't big they were a petite size I guess maybe two two and a half inches and they weren't that wide either but they were really cute and I had gotten them from my mom and I don't know if she thought they were fake or what. I don't know. But she wouldn't wear those things for years. And I just thought, I, first of all, I didn't really realize it until um, we went to move a piece of furniture and found the box <laughs> and it inside. And I was like, oh my God, these earrings have been sitting up here all this time? And I just thought, wow, did she misplace them and didn't even realize they were up here? So I was, I had a little attitude, I'm gonna be honest. So I, I said, well, you don't want the earrings? Those earrings cost me $200 and almost $50. 14 karat gold. Beautiful craftsmanship. And they were too small for me. I love the chandelier earrings, but I like the long ones. I like the big ones, you know, like these big hoops. I like big earrings. But they were like the little petite ones and she loved gold. And 
I said, Mom, these earrings are cute. These You don't like them? And then I said, you know, they 14 karat gold. Oh, really? I was like, wow, you thought I gave you some costume jewelry for Christmas? Do you know after she found that out and then put them on and realized they were the cutest things? She would wear her hair pinned up or put back in a ponytail or she rocked those things after that. And I just thought, wow, like seriously? Unbelievable, yep, and she rocked those things you know, for the for the rest of the time that she, you know she was here, but uh, I just thought people are funny though. I don't, I don't get it. I really, really don't. I don't, family. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know, family. What are your stories about gift giving? You know, what do you do? Because sometimes if you just let people know up front, hey, I'm doing small gifts. You know, don't be expecting no blah blah blah. Okay. Little token gifts for everybody. Make sure everybody gets something. That's what it is. You know, let them know up front to kind of give them a warning so they won't be tripping, you know, because people really start to trip over stuff. I'm just like, what is going on? Like, they expect it. Like, well, she ain't giving me nothing this year. I ain't getting her nothing. You know, you kind of have to let people know up front. And when you normally, when you do that, they don't they don't reciprocate they don't give you nothing they don't give you anything because they you didn't give them anything and that's kind of how people are but it is what it is family but yeah family, that's my little thing on gift giving yeah write in the comments your 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 stories sometimes people you know they can get blown up and mad i've seen that too when my mom got mad at my dad for buying her some this is back in the day though this is like back in the 90s some elastic waist polyester pants man she was on fire i mean i'm just like <laughs> do you ever have you ever seen me wear nothing no mess like this i was like oh my gosh she is pissed but um yeah things changed after that but yeah she went off i was just like what in the world <laughs> hey just to sit back and watch it i tell you family but look, family, thank you for watching. I appreciate your attendance in my videos. Um, please comment and please like and share. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, family. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you on the next video, family. Enjoy. Bye-bye.